Hi folks, welcome to G4G here on YouTube. I'm your host, a relatively not sick anymore, Napalm Dawn. Uh, voice back, head back, cough gone, and well, didn't have much of a cough, but yeah, my system was pretty screwed up around the turn of the year. And I feel back to normal now. What's not normal is Marvel Future Fight. Marvel Future Fight has got a relatively big update going on today that some people are saying is a whale update. Other people are saying it's rather economical. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we're treated with this update alert screen which has a pretty attractive X-23. Um, can't honestly say I've seen X-23 represented that much outside of the games in which I know her from. Uh, not particularly up on her comics, but this is probably the best looking representation I've seen of X-23 is this shot right here. Um, and then we have a new uniform for Punisher in the lower right. It almost like turns him into War Machine. And our dude, our lord and savior of game destruction, Adam Warlock in the lower left. So, you Marvel Avengers Alliance fans... You know what happened the last time we saw Adam Warlock. <sighs> the game just kind of pulled a Matt Hardy and went delete, 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 delete. Yeah. So he killed one Marvel game already and the jokes are already abounding that Adam Warlock is here to kill another game. So this update... It almost seems to have no rhyme or reason. It's like all over the place. And I will say that is not to objectify a game character, but that is a relatively attractive looking version of X-23. Because uh, you know how some characters are just never represented pretty in any way, shape, or form? Like Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is never really good looking anywhere that you see her. And... Except for, believe it or not, Marvel Strike Force. She's actually halfway decent looking at that one. But, um, yeah, so the UI has changed a little bit. You now have a camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. So you're not scrolling over anymore, but of course the store is on the first tab. And some of your freebie shit is on the second tab. Again, so that's not changed over there. We have this new event battle, which I haven't done yet. For X-23, it requires you to have mutants of a certain level. And that is because X-23 is going to come to you through mutant genetics. So the first chapter, you don't need anybody. And then Rogue, a 3-star. Beast, a 6-star. Wolverine, just a 4. But also the uniform for him. And have it upped to a rare level. Because he is required... And if we look at Beast over here, he's required. So the good thing is the X-Men have been in the game long enough that you probably have done this. If you are any kind of a, you know, competitive or higher level player, your Wolverine is probably well beyond this. And honestly, Rogue and Beast are not too bad themselves. Uh, Rogue is a pretty good speed character. Beast, you know, he kind of pales in comparison, but... His uniform does allow you to go both hero combat and villain combat with the Dark Beast uniform. So that means you could use his really cool 50% physical attack buff on any combat that you need. Whether it's hero combat or villain combat. Plus he himself leading for Wolverine is of course always an extremely good thing. And then there's Adam Warlock. So your none of these guys are paywall in the sense that the monthly bios will not bump anybody up. And if you try to do the monthly bios now and you scroll through the whole list, you will eventually see that it comes to the list of people that you don't have. Why can't, what? What is going on here? I don't have any filter set. Oh, I have a universal filter set. Okay. Um, you will find that it will scroll all the way over to the right and show you people you can't use the bio subs on. And um, tell you 
how to get them. So I'm just going to scroll through my list real quick. I'll give you guys an update on how things have been for me. My Quicksilver's great. Finally got cable bumped up. Enjoyable, but he is certainly twitchy. I mean, you do kind of have to watch what you're doing with cable if your uh, cooldown isn't the best. Recently, T2 Captain America just because he was close. Uh, there's my Valkyrie. I'm halfway through watching Thor Ragnarok, by the way. I'm up to the part where he's landing on the place that's out of space and time and finds out he's going to fight, but he hasn't found out who he's going to fight yet. He's been talking with Loki. I uh, need to continue watching that. Uh, more T2s. So Loki is now back to a dude uniform, of course, the newest. And this is where things bottom out for me is right after Ultron, who got a little bit reworked, but he's still not anywhere. Uh, there's my Animatic in Hernandez. I'm a Latina lesbian. My name is Animatic in Chavez. Uh, I'm looking to T2 Mysterio somewhere in the near future. We're working on uh, him a little bit. And then probably we'll work on Anti-Man and Blue Marvel. Yondu recently capped out for me. He and all very close to T2-ing. So here is uh, uh, actually Quasar. Quasar is my complete next target. I need to get her up from 84 to 150. So that'll happen with uh, the daily bios. So now Satana has a new uniform. And I will say... Uh, yeah, Britney Spears did it again. It really messes with some of her skills, and it should buff them up a little bit. I'm actually excited to maybe start using... There was a time and place when Satana and Damon were considered pretty good. I had a leader of my alliance really pitch Satana, but everybody else was going after Damon, or Hellstrom, depending on who you know him from. Um... But he swore by, by Satana, and, you know, he showed some good things with her. So I'm looking forward to taking this uniform and potentially T2-ing it. So she's got a recovery of max hit points over here on Demonic Temptation. But now she also has Devil's Daughter, which is 15% chance when attacking to get 25 hit points. 25% of her hit points over one second, but a really long cooldown. Uh, you've got Little Minion, Raining Flames, Di Diabolic Succubus, Queen of Hell, which is her T2. And she increases fire damage by a lot when she's leading. Uh, I have seen a preview of her stuff somewhat briefly, and I think one of the trailers. And it looks good. If I remember correctly, Satan has got like a grouping ability. I think she can group people up. Oh, wow. That's... I wonder if that's a, a real... Not too sure if that's an iframe. Probably not an iframe, but she is up in the air, so I don't know if she's going to get damaged on that one. Alright, that one's fairly standard. Alright, Bat Cyclone. Let's see if she's invincible during Britney Spears. I wasn't detecting any hits. No, she's... Well... No, she's getting a damage block. My god, that is really sexually charged. That is... Oh, that's actually over the top. For Marvel Future Fight. Call out the rated R rating. I mean, that's... My god, give that... You could just imagine what that sound effect is in your head when she does this. So, if you have never heard of this game, look up a game for the PlayStation 1 called Thrill Kill Cult. Or, no, excuse me, just Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill Cult is the band. Thrill Kill. There is one of the women fighters in Thrill Kill that has a shock prod and... She, as one of her fatalities or finishing moves, she'll just jam it down your throat and get really excited about it. And then you explode from the damage and she's very bothered by, well, hot and bothered by the whole thing. 
that's what that Satana ability reminds me of. That is, yeah, that's that's some over the top shit. So we also have Punisher skins, and we have a new Falcon skin, which I I don't really know if it's gonna do anything for him. I've never bothered with Falcon just because I knew he wasn't anywhere, but let's see. Physical attack goes up. There is a blind. Standard attack, sky high. I don't know. I don't know if this one's worth it. It certainly looks damn cool. I, I will give it that. He almost has a Cyclops looking visor going on over there, but um... Yeah, I just don't really know if Falcon is anywhere. I do believe this one, the all-new Captain America one, was considered pretty good for a little while. I think it was better than Civil War, if I remember correctly. Um, but, yeah, Falcon just was never anywhere for me. Let's see if we can go find Punisher. Oh, I can rank up Punisher. Cool. So Punisher in Marvel Strike Force is actually pretty good. Some people have said he's a little fragile, but I think he does a bucket of DPS. Um, so there is a Daredevil version of him. And of course we have the new one just called Marvel Legacy, which I'm telling you looks like War Machine to me. Got an energy damage one. Punch the guilty. He decreases all damage to himself. He guards against eight hits. That actually is really strong. And he decreases his sk skill cooldown. You know, this might be a decent upgrade for him. The thing is, com you know, combat is a hero. I forget. I think he is. Yeah, he should be hero. Combat is a very crowded field right now. There's a lot of good in combat. I don't know if Punisher could really step to the forefront with that uniform. It sounds like he's got a little bit of a shot, but, I mean, you, how do you dethrone Wolverine? How do you dethrone uh, Carnage's legacy over in Villain? So here's X-23. Uh, you can uh, get her from the processor. And here's Adam Warlock. You can get him from the store. This is what that's this is where things are being yapped at for being a little whale-ish. So if we go over to Camera 2 and we go to the lab. Now a lot of you guys are gonna be familiar with this already because you were doing this for the uh the Marvelettes. So I like to joke about it. The Ultimates, because here in Universal People were doing it to get Blue Marvel, Nova, and Anti-Man. Well, if you come over here, we have this new one called X-Gene. And you tap that one. And you'll see this is a moderate cost. It's 3,000 of your purple crystals, Emkron shards, gear up kits and everything, the gucks. And, but once you bump it up to 10, now, I mean, you can see it's it's definitely using quite a bit. And you can get X-Men out of it, including X-23. Rolling a 2 instead of a 1 is considered jackpot. So that is how you can go ahead and get her. Unfortunately, I don't believe any tickets... I mean, maybe once you get her, you could start ranking her up. But you are going to have to go through the processor to at least get her. In the store under Featured Shop, we've got some new things. Tier 2 3-star Adam Warlock uh, will give you and up to 1,100 crystals as additional challenge rewards. I don't know what they mean by that. I'm not too sure what they mean by the challenge rewards there. I mean, it's costly. It is pretty costly, but I do believe he's going to be considered pretty good. Uh, there is an X-23 Escalating Pack. 
it goes up, um, let's see, 30 of them. 30 for 500, I think I will go ahead and pick that up because that will unlock her. And I don't have to go through the processor. And she's, of course, going to be all the way up front. Now, there were some things that kind of reminded me of Quicksilver when I saw some of her abilities in the trailer. Um, I, I think Quicksilver has firmly entrenched himself as the number one speed dude right now. So let's see how much ticket work can be done for her. Rank up ticket. Okay. Yeah. So at least you'll be able to ticket her, which is pretty cool. You can mastery ticket her. It looks like she is going to level... When she levels up, she's going to consume her own genes. And then I think I saw some Mcron shards for her mastery. Okay. So, no, you can go back and start farming X-Men stuff again for this material. Uh, we're going to do a quick little preview skill over here. Because I do believe some of her skills look like they will be pretty handy. Maybe we can see her team-ups. I mean, teaming up with Wolverine's not the best thing right now. Because you're going to use him on combat days. But maybe on a day in... Uh, a no no restriction day where you can't use Wolverine for ABX she might have a good team up so you get a little minor Wolverine one there looks like it's a lot of hits it's long this is a long ability here yeah so it's a little bit like Wolverine's That's a cool ability. There seems to be a debuff on that one. Her two is fairly straightforward. Alright, so we definitely have to check out what her skills are adding over here because there is a little bit of a debuff going out on some of these that's probably a quick little stun you know completely buffed up she might be the speed wolverine which i know sounds rather obvious like duh of course she's going to be the speed wolverine but I don't know if she could take over Quicksilver. Maybe. Let's see what she has. So, Assault, nothing. There's the, there's the little stun. It's quick, but it's there. When her hit points is below 99%, all attacks, all speed, and then recovery. So, she'll constantly be dipping into a little bit of a, of a buff over here. So, it would actually make sense for her to get hit a little bit. Cooldown time one second. That's pretty good. Wild Rush, there's a bleed damage. Alright, so that was the purple. Wild Rage. She was a very heavy bleeder in Marvel Avengers Alliance. She liked working with bleeds. All new Wolverine. Increases skill damage, bonus damage, critical damage, guaranteed critical rate. Incre decreases debuff, so not a really good leadership. She's not going to lead for you, but uh, yeah, she might have some potential on speed days over here. So she's got some three pair team ups with Captain America and Wolverine, so speed, combat, combat. Daredevil, Captain America, Wolverine and Storm, Gamora and Star-Lord, that's an odd one. Red Hulk and Agent Venom, Silk and Cho. 
too bad she doesn't have a real heavy... She doesn't have an all-speed one in there. She's got Squirrel Girl. Doctor Strange, Captain America. She could go Squirrel Girl, Spider-Man and get attack speed. Yeah, her team-ups are kind of shit. Within her own type. Within speed, her teammate, uh, her team-ups are kind of shit. Adam Warlock, Thanos and Gamora, Drax and Gamora, Star-Lord and Gamora. Star-Lord and Thanos would give him ignore defense and energy attack. Yeah, you're probably going to want to maybe have Star-Lord leading for him on a blast day. And does he have any other blasters that he can go with? No. Wow. Kind of shitty to work with his own kind, unfortunately. But Star-Lord leading with him. And then Star-Lord and Rocket maybe? Mantis? Okay. That would work. Star-Lord leading for him. And then Mantis. You'd get energy attack out of it. And you would get uh, energy attack and then Star-Lord's lead. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Star-Lord, Warlock, Mantis. If you're not using Mantis for something else. Which she is very capable of taking on a lot of her own stuff. Similar to Enchantress. So let's preview his skill over here. That was weird. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's almost a... Uh, what a very cinematic move. We're gonna have to test to see if that one gets him out of danger. Damn. Wow. Wow, that is... Damn. That number four is good. Yeah, nice, nice little strafe job there. Ah, some people commenting on some of the Savior's videos. Alright, so, what is that? Ah, nice, yeah, okay, so there's his immunity. Good solid five seconds. There's a jump back, kind of like Loki. That four is impressive. I like that four. Yeah. I bet you that five is the all stats increase too. Uh, yeah, War... <sighs> Again, he has some stiff competition in Cable and Sherog and Doctor Strange, but... That might be some tasty stuff going on over there. So, energy damage, energy damage, space piercing, activation rate when hit, chance for immunity to damage. So you want to make sure you use that at a time where you think you might take a hit. If there's not a lot of people on screen, that's probably going to be a bit of a waste. Cosmic, yep, there's a blind. Move using the V, so that's the strafe one, that's four. And yeah, and increase all attacks, just what I thought. Okay, yeah, I think Adam Warlock is probably going to be worth your crystals. It's, I don't know, hopefully you can tick it. Well, he's going to be native T2, so you're probably not going to be able to ticket him. But, you know, don't forget, the more characters you have... The better stats you have in at least timeline. They hide it now. But it used to be way more visible in game. Um, they've sort of hid it away a little bit. But it is, uh, it's definitely still here. I just happened to actually run into it the other day. I was like, oh, what's this on the corner of my screen? Ooh, Quicksilver is a recommended. I like that. Ah, yeah, there it is. 
So this used to be way more prevalent in older PvP, but don't forget, all your characters in these categories buff things up. And similar to Marvel Avengers Alliance, depending on how you have people sit, it buffs that. So if you have Blast Mordo and Speed Mordo and you have them sitting as speed, you might want to move them over to Blast. You'll get higher attack. So there you go, guys. We've taken a look at Punisher, Satana, X-23, Adam Warlock. Uh, I definitely think X-23 and Adam Warlock are the standouts. I think Falcon is the opposite of a standout, probably. Uh, but I'm definitely surprised by Punisher's uniform. He might slightly make a name for himself. And the good... Ah, uh, yeah, see? I thought they were doing this. They get you to spend crystals before a situation occurs in game that you would probably spend crystals for. Can you imagine how much you would have gotten if you had the spend crystals event right now and you wanted to get out of Warlock? Crazy. Fucking crazy. Of course they would do this. Of course. And imagine if you spent crystals for some of those rewards and now you're like, well shit, now I have no crystals to get stuff. But oops, I did it again. Brittany Satana over here. Let's not forget about her uniform. She's going to wave goodbye to you guys. And again, do me a favor. Go to YouTube. Look up Thrill Kill. And you'll you'll see the one I'm talking about. I don't think it's the it's not the mime, not the chick is dressed up with the mime. I think it was a nurse character that did it, but she basically gets very, very female excited when she's doing bad things to you. And that's what that one Satana ability reminds me of. So take care everybody.